Hey guys, today Rusty and I are heading up to my favorite little spot above Denver out in the forest to give a little better demonstration and a talk about how true tracks work. There's been a lot of questions and I thought I'd uh, show a little more. I've had these differentials installed in my expedition for about two years now. I have one in the front and one in the rear, and here's what I found. On the street, you can't really tell they're there. They act like a limited slip differential. If you are in a tight turn and you get on the gas real hard, you can get the tire to chirp a little bit, but other than that, they are pretty much invisible. On the street in the snow, this is where it gets a little different. They act like a limited slip differential for the most part, but they will hunt for grip a little better. If you have it in two wheel drive and you try to break traction, it'll, it'll go back and forth. It'll grip on one side and grip on the other. And so it hunts for traction a little differently than a limited slip. Limited slip just kind of locks and you'll go sideways. Um, the difference for me with it in the front is in four wheel drive on a slick road, if you try to spin the tires, now normally you're just driving along in the snow, you don't know any, notice anything different and it has great traction. But if you really get on the gas to try to spin the tires, the both front tires will start to spin. And so your stability goes away a little bit. The front end will move around more than maybe it would with an open differential. But that, it takes a lot more to make it spin, and so it wasn't really a bad thing. You could just notice it a little bit. Off-road in the snow, I'm talking deeper snow, six inches and more. This is where these differentials are the best. It hunts for grip, and you can feel it bite one side and the other, and it finds the traction needed to get through the snow. To the point where I had it in four high, and it w I, the truck didn't have enough power to pull it through the snow. Um, and uh, this is where I think these work the best. In the mud, I don't have a whole lot of experience with sloppy, sloppy mud, but I would imagine it would operate a lot like in the snow. So next, let's talk about rocks and trails like I find here in Colorado. This is where I'm most interested in these differentials because that's the type of uh, driving I do the most. And it works like a limited slip differential on the normal dirt trails. You know, it just makes, makes traction and you don't know it's there. The interesting thing comes when you come to a rock that you need to go over and you run out of suspension travel and a wheel comes off the ground. In a normal limited slip or open differential, of course, all the power would be directed to that wheel that's off the ground and you have no more forward movement. But if you apply the brakes, it will direct some of the power to away from the wheel off the ground towards the wheel that you have traction. It doesn't do a 50-50 like a full locker, but it does put enough uh, power to that wheel to pull you up and over things. This is really apparent in the front, um, and it will pull you up over as opposed to an open differential, which will just open up and, and you will lose traction. Okay, let's talk about how to make the differential lock. If you have it in high range, it won't lock. My brakes in my expedition are pretty uh, pretty good, and you can't get the brakes to hold um, that power. It just won't do it. It just acts like an open differential in high uh, range. If you put it in low range and you are at a complete stop, that's when it works. You hold the brake 
and slowly push the power um, in until it pushes past those brakes in a sense and it'll stay locked and you'll climb over things it just it as soon as the brake pressure isn't enough to hold that differential it'll open up and it'll start to spin and you have to start the whole process over again once it starts you can't stop it until you completely take the power out completely it is better than a limited slip differential in this case as a limited slip differential is only um, can only lock as much as the clutch pack will hold inside that differential you can not apply the brakes and make it lock more maybe a little bit but not not enough to pull you up over a rock in that situation okay well let's sum this up if I compare a true track to any type of a clutch limited slip differential it's better in the rocks because you can make it lock it is uh, better in the deep snow because it hunts for grip in a different way and um, it's about the same on the street um, it's pretty much um, invisible and uh, works when you need it to when you compare true tracks to a locker of any type whether that be a Detroit or a Grizzly lunchbox locker where it's a ratcheting style locker or a selectable locker the true tracks don't do locking as well as they do um, but you can get it to lock some and you don't have the downside to almost all ratcheting lockers which they're just horrible on the street they unlock and lock and bang and pop and make all kinds of noise and the uh, selectable lockers um, you have to do something um, I guess you know flip a switch or push a button to get them to lock and then they are locked full time so if you're in uh, on the street and um, you're in snow the full locked um, side of a locker is bad you will go sideways in a heartbeat and lose uh, uh, stability or um, you know forward movement but you don't get full locking off-road so if you're climbing rocks or in a deep mud hole and you need all the power to both back wheels or both front wheels um, the true tracks don't fully do that one thing to note with a manual transmission I don't think you could uh, get the differential to lock um, with an automatic it's easy to apply the brake and the gas pedal at the same time with a manual that would be nearly impossible I do think it would be a good alternative to a clutch style limited slip differential as it is mechanical and the clutches will never burn out and it will work the same all the way through its life all right then to close this out all differentials have some sort of a compromise I think that the uh, true tracks are better than a clutch style um, limited slip differential on the street and in the deep snow they are not as good as any locking type differential in the rocks or deep mud and that type of thing but they are a good uh, relatively inexpensive solution for most people who are just looking for better traction than an open differential and um, but with the ability to lock it down some to crawl over rocks and get where you want to be so hopefully you enjoyed my video and um, got a little bit of information out of it and hope you'll uh, come back and watch some more